Hello, and welcome to a new video. I hope you are excited as I am because today is my first official guitar related video. I'm very excited for this. In this video, as the title claims, I'm going to be talking about and doing basically doing a review on the DS1 by Boss, uh, Boss DS1 Distortion. Uh, I just got this pedal a few days ago from recording it, so played it for at least a couple hours a day, so let's get into the video. In the instruction manual, there are options here to set. So we're going to be trying these out, as well as just setting it to whatever uh, we want or whatnot, and just see what the distortion battle can do. Alright, well first off, this is how the guitar sounds without the distortion. It's just the amp. I haven't turned on the distortion yet. With the settings, all the settings on it are two pointing upwards. The distortion, the tone, and the level are pointing upwards. Of course, the level is just the uh, volume. So, distortion and tone on, I guess, regular settings. Sounds like this. <coughs> set it to the hard rock style according to the little instruction manual that's distortion all the way up tone is set a little bit to the left and level is set to a little bit to the left this is what the hard rock setting sounds like <laughs> I like it a lot. I've been using it quite a bit, especially when I'm playing like hard rock stuff, you know. As you saw, is pretty good for like scorpions and whatnot. So, this one they entitled British Punk. So, for this one, setting the tone evened upwards and distortion would go to the side here. And the level will go into the middle center. So, this is the British punk settings. <laughs>
Coast. It's got British in the name, so why not play some Iron Maiden? <laughs> I think if you want to play a lot of like power metal stuff or I made in Judas Priest or whatnot, definitely, I definitely recommend the British punk settings. Of course, all these settings are shown in a list on the instruction manual. So <clears throat> this one is called Crutch. Okay, so the level. Go slightly to the left. Distortion goes all the way down, all the way back. Turn it all the way to the left. And tone will go a little bit to the right. And the right tone, it technically tones up, and the left is toning down. This is how the setting crunch sounds like. I like the crunch setting. I mean, I haven't done much on it, but as you saw, it sounds good with like a classic song, Smoke on the Water, you know. But yeah, you can do a lot with it, fool around with it, play some classical stuff, you know, classic rock. And okay, so this one is called Wild and Warm. And for this one, you put the level in the middle, tone, go all the way to the left, and distortion would go to the left, kind of like center it, center it to the left side. It would look like that. This is what the setting mild and warm sounds like. Not as distorted, but you know, if, if you're into playing more like the melodic stuff, you definitely try this right here. One is called American Rock. Distortion will go center, level, stay center. The tone goes all the way to you, slightly to the right from the center. And American Rock setting will look like that. And this is what American Rock sounds like. Not just the genre, but you know, you know like the extra setting. my favorite thing to play on this setting, the American Rock setting. Even though Rush on American, but it works. <laughs> natural clip. So for natural clip Tone go center, level stay center, and distortion will go to the left about there. Natural clip will look like that. This is what the setting natural clip looks like. <laughs> I don't really 
mess around with this one, but I mean. You can still have some fun with it. You can play some like good power metal or something. Fuzz. Okay, so for fuzz, I'm going to turn the level right here. Distortion. All the way up. Then the tone goes slightly to the right. That is the setting for fuzz. What fuzz, the fuzz setting sounds like. Fusion. Distortion will go up a little bit. Level will go up a little bit as well. I like that. Tone. Keep it central to the left. Pointed to the left. That is what the setting for fusion will look like. This is what the fusion uh, setting sounds like. you've ever had a multi-effects pedal this kind of sounds familiar because it's in most in the multi-effects pedal that I used to have you know it had fusion as an option it sounded a lot like this I like metal and kind of consider myself more of a metal guitarist. Something that I've been messing around with a lot is level will go center, tone will go center, and distortion will go all the way up. And this right here is from when I've been messing with it, this is about as metal as I can get. pretty much been able to play anything. I could play thrash pretty easily. thing about the distortion pedal I think is it's got all these settings you can basically just tone the knob just a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and then pick a band and you can start playing their tone like really well you know so yeah the bus DS1 distortion it's got eight settings that you can set it to on the little instruction manual but honestly you can just fool around with it and ultimately you can pretty much play any kind of like heavy metal or hard rock or just anything of that kind of genre you would most likely be able to play it on this distortion pedal and it would be able to sound very well so that's one reason why I really love this pedal so in conclusion This pedal is awesome. 
if you are into playing metal or any kind of rock or that hard genre, you know, the heavier side of music, get this pedal. It's awesome. It's really cheap. I mean, it's not over $60, so it's a pretty affordable pedal, and I definitely recommend it.